Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft Dungeons video, where today I'm going to be unlocking some of the new gear from this year's new Spooky Fall. Now, I believe that there are actually six new items to be unlocked, uh, said being two new weapons, uh, pieces of armor, and two new bows. And at the moment, I only have two of the event trials, so today we will be unlocking two of the new pieces of gear. And it looks like for the first trial, we're going to be heading to the Creeper Woods. As for the add-ons, our pet count is set to 2, which should be pretty interesting. 33% uh, of melee mobs are replaced with Royal Guards, and players have the Tempo Theft enchantment equipped. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get right into the first seasonal trial. Alright, I've loaded into the levels, so let's go ahead and get started. Oh, it's these are all guards, alright. So I should probably be a little more careful this time. Doing a decent amount of damage with this weapon. This is the first time I've actually, like, used it, so... It's pretty interesting to see how it's working. I think I'm gonna swap, though, because I really don't want to die. I'm just gonna go ahead and use my uh, Whirlwind Axe. And this should help with, like, healing and stuff, because I'm a little bit worried about that. I also equip my Harp Cross, so just so I can deal with the bigger groups of mobs, because these guys won't have too much HP. And the Whirlwind should have a pretty easy time dealing with all them. Especially the Enchanted mobs, which haven't really actually ran into any yet, so it'll be interesting to see how we do. I won't come I'm not gonna go off the path I'm just gonna yeah I'm not gonna go ahead and get that captain I don't think it's necessary because I'm not really trying to get any new gear I'm just trying to oh uh, get the uh, new uh, items speaking of which I'm curious as to like if there'll be reskins or like completely new items because I know in the past they've just only been reskins which is a little unfortunate, because, I mean, it's a good opportunity to introduce some new gear, but I guess I can't understand why they're doing it. Maybe they just don't have, like, enough people to develop all the new gear at the same time. Though, they did release uh, some new armor for one of the newer levels they just released, so... It'll be interesting to see what kind of uh, new things we get next. Might be around halfway through the level at this point, I'm not too sure. Usually the spider cave is like an indicator for me when I'm getting like around that mark. Okay, looks like I think the cave is just ahead, so should be getting relatively close. Enchanted spiders. Oh, yeah, they're not going to be that much of an issue. Okay, here's the rescue part. So I'll just speed through this area, I think, because... Shouldn't be that difficult to just go around and... Because these guys aren't really doing that much damage to me anyway with the uh, armor I have plus the iron hide. Actually, these guys have so much knockback, I don't think I'd actually be able to like consistently run. It'd just be tedious trying to get back up. I mean, I already got four of the five, so I should be okay. Alright, last one's just up here, it looks like. So, we'll go ahead and get rid of these guys, and I should be... Alright. And then the, I believe there's the bridge right up here, so. And that's like the final push to the end. Alright, they only gave him fast attack, which isn't that hard to deal with. I'm not gonna bother going through that wave. I'm just gonna leave. Alright, we made it. Alright, so let's see what we got. I'm cur I think it was a weapon... I'm not sure. Oh, bow. All right. Gloopy bow. Entrap your enemies in a strange syrupy bubble and show them who's boss. Interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and go to camp and then let's see what it actually does. So the gloopy bow. Uh, bubble damage hits multiple targets when charged and special event item. 
So I think this might be a reskin of the unique version of the bubble bow. I'm not too sure. But the bubble damage and then the hits multiple targets when charged is kind of leading me to think that it is. As for enchantments, we have not bad enchantments. Overcharge, crit, power, tempo theft, chain reaction, and shock web. And then a higher amount of ammo with low speed and a relatively low amount of power. And let me go ahead and actually make sure that I'm not wrong. Okay, bubble burster, that's what I thought. So yeah, bubble damage and then the uh, hits multiple targets when charged. So yeah, pretty much just a reskin of this. Which is kind of unfortunate because I, I was wishing that these would be just brand new items. But I, I wasn't really like expecting them to be. As you guys probably read, the footage of me running through the second spooky trial and going over the new item I unlocked unfortunately got corrupted. And since I already completed all the seasonal trials and unlocked the new gear, in this part of the video, I'm just going to be going over all the said gear of this year's spooky fall. So yeah, let's first get right into the weapons. First off, we have the Spine Chill Spear. Which is a reskin of the Whispering Spear. We have a medium amount of power. Along with a lower amount of speed. But a very nice area. So I have had some experience using spears in the past. But I have never really used them as my main weapon as of now. The nice reach is a really good touch. But I don't know if it really makes up for the lower speed and power. Which I really would have liked to have been a bit higher. And this is really one of those weapons that can definitely benefit from certain enchantments. And in my opinion at least, can actually suffer if you use others. But yeah, this weapon is definitely pretty cool. And I am going to be looking out for some trials with this one. Just to see what kind of enchantments I can get on it. Following that, we have the Bonehead Hammer. Which is a reskin of the Hammer of Gravity. So here we have a lot of power with a lower amount of speed in a mid-sized area and I have surprisingly never really been too fond of hammers and that might partially be because I have never really found one that seemed amazing and kind of going back to what I said about the spear this kind of weapon would really benefit from certain enchantments like maybe leeching echo or even sharpness since we would want either one or two hit kills with this weapon because of its speed I'm not really amazed by hammers, but I am sure that some people might like this hammer just based off its unique look. Now since I already previously covered the gloopy bow, I'm just going to be looking at the shrieking crossbow. Which is a reskin of the veiled crossbow. And this crossbow has a lower amount of power, speed, and ammo respectively. The thing that strikes me as interesting is the built-in enchantments that this bow has which is the ability to spawn shadow form on kills it might be similar to the ghost cloak or maybe give a boost to your attack like the shadow brew i'm not really too sure and this is a pretty interesting item that i might have to mess around with in the future finally for the first piece of armor we have the hungriest horror and this is actually a reskin of an already existing piece of armor from a previous Halloween event, that being the Hungry Whore, which is also a reskin of the armor piece that I ranked number one, the Renegade Armor. And since I already extensively covered this armor in one of my older videos, I'm not really going to bother talking too much about it. All I'm going to say is that the built-in enchantments really work together well to make this both an offensive and defensive item. The second armor that I got from this event is the Cloaked Skull which is a reskin of the Ghost Kindler armor. Now, I don't see this item being very good or useful at all, really just because none of the built-in enchantments strike me as amazing or good. Briefly gain ghost form when rolling is not needed in my opinion, 
and spawns fire rolls will really do nothing to increase your damage. 30% chance to negate damage is actually pretty nice, but without other skills to help with offense, it's really just hard to justify the use of this armor. But I'll still admit that some people will probably find to make this work. And to end off this video, I just want to apologize for the lack of the second trial. Though now that I'm starting to think about it, it's actually pretty nice that things worked out this way. Because now I was able to showcase all of the new items instead of just two of them. Which is really just what I wanted to do all along, I just really didn't know how to do it in a way that I could also go through a trial. But before this video ends, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, have an amazing rest of your day, and goodbye.